One of the most beautiful books we have in our collection is De Sebus et Causus Morborum, written by the Italian Morgagni, um, on the sites and causes of disease. It contains five books um, um, with 70 letters about the causes and of death and disease. It's a very um, modern book for its time, written in 1771, because it constitutes the first, for the first time modern pathological thinking. It links clinical records with uh, pathological lesions of the organs. Morgagni gave in 1771, on his 89th year, the first description of the disease of cardiac falls acute yellow atrophy of the liver and tuberculosis of the kidney and many other diseases. He proved in many autopsies that the cerebral lesion in apoplexy is on the opposite side from the resulting paralysis. The historical significance of this book is threefold. First, the Sebus abolished humoral concepts in pathology in an, for a long period of time. Unlike physicians who based their ideas on classical idea of the humor, humoral pathology, Morgani demonstrated that diseases are located in specific organs and that disease symptoms tally with anatomical lesions. The work of Morgani meant a change from a medicine of symptoms to a medicine of lesions. He introduced the anatomical idea into medical practice. Pathology became a genuine branch of modern medicine. The second, Morgani followed a largely empirical method in morbid anatomy, believing that repeated observations um, improved the reliability of results. And third, several historians have pointed out that the lesionistic and localistic uh, thinking made the integration, made possible the integration of surgery and internal medicine. The gap between surgery and internal medicine was relatively small in Italy and Padua and by the work of Morgagni these two branches of healing became one uh, science. Morgagni's book became quickly very famous. It was translated in English in 1769 and into German in 1774 and many others continued his work like the Scott Matthew Bailly in 1793 and uh, Xavier Bichat in France uh, with several publications. Therefore, it is a very interesting book for the history of science. It is also a very interesting book for the history of anatomy and uh, medical thinking.